A paper that recently was published in the journal Environmental Research Letters reports on a study that estimates the changes in daily mortality attributable to days with non-optimal temperatures in England and Wales that are expected to occur as the global mean temperature increases owing to climate change. The results these researchers obtained are very interesting. By way of background, England and Wales have a relatively mild climate with more very cold days than very hot days. As a result, in these countries, there are more deaths attributable to very cold days than to very hot days. Not surprisingly, as global temperatures increase, they would expect to see a decrease in the number of cold weather related deaths and the number of hot weather related deaths to increase. The researchers carried out numerous simulations using two different scenarios for global temperature increases as the result of increasing greenhouse gas emissions. One scenario assumed that the increase in global temperatures by the end of the 21st century would be limited to 2.6 degrees centigrade as a result of worldwide adoption of strict controls on greenhouse gas emissions. That scenario is shown by the blue dots in the figures on the left, the so-called RCP 2.6 scenario. The other scenario, RCP 8.5, assumes that essentially no new limitations on greenhouse gases are put in place. Under that scenario, global mean temperatures are expected to increase by about 8.5 degrees centigrade by the end of the century. The figures on the left summarize the results of their simulations. The vertical axes in both figures A and B indicate the number of daily weather-related deaths in both summer and winter in Wales and England. The blue and orange dots in both figures show the average number of weather-related deaths in both summer and winter, while the purple dots show the number of daily deaths related to extremely hot days and extremely cold days, those days in the top 5% of hotter cold days. The horizontal axes in both figures uh, represent the overall change in mean global temperatures from uh, the 1850 to 1900 year average. Uh, the results show that as global temperatures rise, the number of deaths related to cold weather decreases approximately linearly. But when the mean global temperature increase reaches about 2.5 degrees centigrade, the number of heat related deaths starts to rise non-linearly. And at that point, if you look at the extremely hot and extremely cold days, the number of deaths on extremely hot days in Wales and England begins to exceed the number of deaths on extremely cold days. The results from this research are notable, primarily because they are the first to relate mortality directly to the amount of global temperature increase rather than to how quickly or slowly global temperatures increase. While these results are specific to England and Wales, they suggest that elsewhere in the temperate areas of the planet, a global average temperature increase of about 2.5 degrees centigrade is a tipping point for heat-related deaths. Beyond that point, heat-related deaths start to increase rapidly. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have found it both interesting and informative. And if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comments section. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can do so just by clicking on my picture in the circle below.